double prime. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're doing H double prime. So that means we're going to take what H is and we're going to take the derivative of it twice. That means product rule three times. Here we go. First, we take the derivative of the first function, uh, which we'll call F prime. Then we multiply it times the second, which is G. Then we have the first function times the derivative of the second function. That's the first derivative. Now we must take the derivative again because it's H double prime. So then uh, let's do this first guy right here. First, we're going to take the derivative of the first function, and that's going to be F double prime. Then we're going to multiply it times the second. Plus, now take the derivative of the second function. So that's going to be F prime times G prime. And then we have a plus. Uh, let's uh, put this plus sign right here for this plus, and then we'll do the last part. We got to take the derivative of that. The first function is f, so the derivative of f is f prime times the second function, function, which is g prime. Plus, we have our first function times the derivative of our second function, which would be, then be double prime. Then we're supposed to plug in three. So when we plug in three, what do we get? F double prime of three, see here's F double prime, here's three. F double prime of three is negative three. So I'm gonna put a negative three right there and then we have to multiply that times G of three, which is gonna be two. So I'm gonna put two plus F prime of three. So here's F prime, here's three right here. F prime of three is four, so I'm gonna put four times G prime. G prime is right here, uh, the seven's right there, so I put seven plus uh, these two guys are the same, so I could just multiply this by 2, or I can do it again. I can go 4 times 7, plus, now we have the last one, f of 3 is going to be 5, so I put 5, g double prime of 3 is negative 2, so I put a negative 2 right there, and then I get my business done. So we have negative 6 plus 40, no, 28, plus 28, there's two of those, plus negative 10. There's 16 negatives and 56 positives. When I add those together, I get forte. So this is our answer. If you got this one, that means you took the derivative only once. You need to take the derivative twice.